Now, count on two, live and local in the Lowcountry. This is News 2 Midday. It's 11.30 right now, kicking off our second half hour of News 2 Midday. Thanks for joining us or sticking with us. Maybe you're getting ready to head to lunch. Some of you might need the umbrella, some of you won't. Yeah, most of you actually don't need the umbrella at yeah. all. If you're unlucky today, maybe you're seeing a little bit of a shower, or maybe you want that shower to help cool you off just a little bit. Let's get right to Storm Team 2 radar. I want to show you guys exactly where those showers are as you get ready to head out for the lunchtime hour. You can see they're really firing up across areas of Berkeley County, over to Dorchester County, and parts of Charleston County as well. Where we are seeing the heaviest of the rain right now, and even some lightning showing up, is out towards the Somerville area. Most of us just see some light to maybe even moderate rain, but really it's this cell that we're watching very closely that's producing heavy downpours and gusty winds out into the Somerville area. So if you are heading there or maybe you're out there, maybe just stall just a little bit before you head out for the lunchtime hour. Temperatures into the mid to upper 80s for a lot of us stepping out the door, but feeling more like the mid to upper 90s. It's another very hot day out there once you factor in that humidity and temperatures today will continue to warm into the mid to upper 80s. Some of us even coming close to that 90 degree mark. But what happens is, is when you get a shower, your temperature is going to fall briefly and then it's going to warm back up. So temperatures today kind of all over the place depending on how much rain you see. But by 2 o'clock, most of us will be approaching our high temperature for the day, which again is right around that 90 degree mark. So if you're heading to the beach, not a bad day. We'll see temperatures into the mid 80s. Just keep an eye to the sky. If you hear some thunder, make sure to move indoors quickly. You can see those storms staying with us, especially into inland areas where we'll see some rain through the afternoon hours. But after that sun sets, any storms will fizzle out. I'll look at your rain chances over the next couple days and a look at those temperatures coming up in your only 10 day forecast.